So we're going to start this out. Um, so I, I read I read a few books uh, by Nietzsche uh, the other day, and I just wanted to put sort of a, just all the thoughts all into just one little essay and uh, try to sum up what I thought Nietzsche believed about humanity. If anything else, uh, hopefully it'll direct you to my blog. So here we go. Roll the reel. Like speaking with a friend over coffee at a diner, there are only so many hours one has the chance to become acclimated with the ideas of Friedrich Nietzsche. It's in those moments that understanding it all would be quite a disservice to each individual item discussed, or more so the one discussing it. We'd, I'd imagine, or at least I'd hope, are far more than one idea. We're a complexity of them, all intertwined. Some of them fit nicer while others seem to stray. What most call inconsistencies are closer to split ends. After traveling so far, ideas are bound to take a path of their own, but they'll be managed. Friedrich Nietzsche is arrogant, and it's not really of the commendable type. It's quite discomforting. It's as if he found a secret to something he thought laid unknown. I wanted to refute back that it was known. It was known by those men that we left behind in the waste of anger and suffering. Knowing Friedrich, he'd suggest that this were his point exactly. The victors have suffered at the hand of the weak. The proud have shrunk by the side of the humble. We would see this as a moment of progress. Friedrich would see this as regress. The altruist might beg him to reconsider. You see, Friedrich, they'd say, it's actually more beneficial for the proud to yield to the meek, not only for those values that the savior of Christianity, that the majority believe in, but for the consideration of the individual himself. Egoism, you see? Aim for your enhancement, allow for others, and in turn, widen the road for your own good. It's math, it's probability, it's logic, it's everything that he hates. Stirring his cup, he began to discuss that to suggest that morality was brought about for no other concern than the individual, and that even more we'd, through evolution, forgotten this, rejects all sense we claim to possess. If profitable, then why forget it? Show me a tame dog, he'd say, and bring a wild one before it, and tell me which one wins. And after, tell me which dog is better. You seem quite comfortable using the term progress in place of tamed humanity. And I simply find your suggestion ill-fitting of this logic that you fascinate yourself with. Your altruism is a weak man's attempt at gaining ground on the strong, and your egoism is a strong's weakened form of strength. You've exchanged morality in place of the quality the weak possess above the strong, passivity. And logic, your treasure of a word, is merely a maze that weak men discovered to outwit them as well. For if only they can create a puzzle that only they know the answer of, even if it not be satisfactory, they can gain the upper hand. They can appear strong and render the strong weak. You see, you've shifted the tide of progress toward weakness of the body, of courage, of the will, for craftiness of the mind. Even if this craftiness can only exit a maze into yet just another confusing and unending and unnerving repetitious maze. As the host came back to our table, I had realized almost five hours had passed. I left confused. I understand, or maybe it's better to say that I can follow what Friedrich believes passionately, but I also find myself enjoying what he calls weakened humanity. Or perhaps that's enough for me to be content with what I believe. It is, I'll be honest, what feels most helpful to myself. And maybe this shows it to be true. Or, now I begin to question myself, maybe it's because I'm the weak one that he spoke of. And this world that we've created fits me better. I, the weak one, choose weakened humanity, 
tamed humanity because I am the weak one who profits in the system of weakness. So thank you guys. Um, I really appreciate this. Uh, this really has been fun. Um, I'm hoping to do another philosopher uh, maybe next time. Send me any suggestions that you guys have. Um, I'd love to uh, take some samples of any other authors that you have, even if they're not philosophers. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm excited. Um, can't wait to do another. Uh, like, subscribe, do all the necessary YouTube stuff that you're supposed to. Um, leave some comments. I genuinely want to know how I'm doing, so uh, appreciate it. So uh, yeah, adios. Bye.